So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to kind of show you while on my own website, but no matter what template you purchased, this whole setup is going to look exactly the same. So first things first, up here in the corner is where you're going to have your site settings. So if you click on your site name, um, this is where you're going to access all of your site settings. So this is just all the basic information about your site. So when you first add your template, it might say something like, um, like my Santana or my Izzy or like whatever template you purchased. Um, all you have to do to change your site name is just type it in right here and click save. So like if you add something, it'll change to save. Um, and then that'll update up here. This is where you'll add, add your domain in, which I'll go over in a different video. This is where you set your favicon. So the favicon, it even shows you. It's just like that little um, image that shows up next to your page titles. I usually suggest making this like a symbol or if you have like a brand mark, that usually works really well here. This is your vanity URL slug. So normally I'll change this. Um, to kind of be whatever my site name is. So maybe I'm like Inkpot Creative 2022 or something. Um, and that's just like your preview URL. So if you were to ever like preview your site, which you can totally do just by clicking here, um, it just kind of shows you what it would look like and it'll pull it up at that link that you add in here. This next tab is where you'll connect your blog, which I'll um, go into in a different video if you purchase one of the blog add-ons. Um, and here's where you can add in your Google Analytics information, which is also um, discussed in a different video, and then um, your Facebook info. Next is this button will just bring you also to the site settings, and then this button also brings you to the site settings. <laughs> this next button is your design settings. So this is where you'll add in all of your um, like typography, your brand colors, and also your fonts. Next is media library. So this is where you add all your photos. Mine are like a complete mess right now, but you'll see you can have like different folders for your different images. Um, and you can also like kind of go through and reorganize them by dragging them, which is really nice. This next section is where you're going to see all of the pages in your site. So you'll see right now I have like crap ton of pages, but um, your template will have usually between like five and 10, depending on which one you purchase and how many um, like add-ons you purchase. But this is where you'll be able to see them all, and you can see which page is set as your home page because it'll have this little home icon next to it. And then if you ever need to change that, but um, like for any reason, if you want to like throw up a coming soon page, what you'll do is click on a different page um, that you want to set as the home page. Click these three dots and just click set as home page. And you'll see as you kind of click through the different pages, and that's how you can like access them. The next button I want to mention is this button. If you ever want to add a new page, this is where you can do it. So if you click select new page, you can actually like duplicate one of the pages you already have. If you have like other pages or uh, like sites in your library, you can add them from here too. Just click it, click add. You can also just add a blank page if you want. The next section are blog templates. Um, you're only going to have these if you purchase a blog add-on. Next is the site canvases. So the show at site is made up of a whole bunch of canvases. So you'll see as I hover, these different sections kind of highlight themselves in blue. Um, and these are each different canvases. So basically your show it page is gonna be made up of a whole bunch of these. Um, one thing to note is you'll see some of these have like the little diagonal lines. That means that it's a site canvas. And a site canvas is used multiple times throughout your website. So in whatever template you purchase, you'll see that you're going to have certain canvases that are set up as site canvases just to make it a lot easier for you on editing. If it doesn't have those lines, then it's just a regular canvas. So to edit a regular canvas, you just kind of click into it. To edit a site canvas, you have to click on it and then click the little blue button that pops up. Next, if you click on your name, this is where you can kind of access a whole bunch of different information about your account. So you can see your design, see what um, designs have been shared with you, add new ones to your library, manage your account, subscription, all of that. Down here is where you can access um, the different screen sizes. So my personal like process is I'll always edit it first on desktop and then once I'm done I'll click this one to see them side by side and then I'll go through and edit everything on mobile. Um, so if you're completely new, new to Show It, one of the things that I personally love about Show It and a lot of other designers love about Show It is that mobile is customizable on its own. Um, so what that means is if you make an edit over here, it's not going to affect over here. So if I change like the color on desktop to be white, you'll see it stays this, the same color over here that it was. So you have to make the change in both spots. Oops. 
um, when you make any changes. So while you're making changes, um, just make sure you're always editing it on mobile as well, because even if you like move the text boxes, you'll see nothing happens over here. The one change that does occur on both is if you were to like change the type in the in the boxes, and then also if you change any of the images, they will update on both. These are your zoom buttons, um, so you can like zoom in and out by using these. This, these are all your tools, so this one on the left, this is obviously just all text. So actually if you like click heading, it's going to pull exactly what you had set up in the design settings, which I go over how to set up in another video. The next one is they're all like your design elements, so you'll see we have rectangles, lines, icons, embed codes, videos, galleries, and you can also add social grids now. The next one is another button just to access your media library. If we come over here, these are going to be your best friend. These are the undo and redo buttons, so like if you do something you're like, oh my gosh, how do I go back? You just click that button and it goes back. Um, if you're on like a Mac, you can also click Command Z and it'll do the same thing. Um, let's see, okay, so next this sidebar is going to always change depending on what you have clicked over here. So an example, if I'm on the home page, it's going to show me page information. So this is where I can change the page name, background, add animation, um, mess with like the advanced settings, add an SEO, and all of that. But if I was to click inside a canvas, it's going to change to canvas settings. So now I can rename the canvas, change the canvas background, add animation to that, make add transitions, add some fun scroll actions. And it'll go even further because if I click on like a design element in the canvas on the page, it'll change to all text information. So now I can change the text style, text properties, the size of the text. So it really, um, it gets a little bit more intuitive the more you kind of mess around with it. But like even you'll see here now it changes to like shape settings. So um, you kind of see like every time you click, this is where you can usually customize it further. Another button I forgot to mention is, so as I was showing you all of the canvases, if you come over to page, you'll see you can actually see all of your like layers all laid out for you within each of the canvases. So this is really helpful, um, like if you're trying to click something and you like can't grab it, like maybe for some reason you can't um, like grab like this black button, you can just kind of find it over here, which is nice. Um, you can also kind of see that some of these have little phone images, some of them have desktop images. This means um, it's only showing on desktop, this means it's only showing on mobile, and to kind of change that, if you click this, these three dots, you can like check these little boxes to kind of decide where you want them to be shown. But obviously on my site, I have like a separate desktop, desktop navigation than a mobile navigation, which is why it's set up this way. If it has this little eyeball icon, that means that you've completely hidden that entire canvas. So to completely hide a canvas, you would just uncheck both of these. So you'll see both of them are unchecked right now, but like if I check them back, you'll see that they start to come back over here and kind of show you um, where they're being shown. Um, one of the other buttons that you'll probably use a lot are these. So show it support is incredible and they're always very fast if you ever have any issues with your site, especially on weekdays. So the first button I want to show you is this one. This will bring you to the help docs and this is pretty much everything you ever have to know about show it. So you'll see you can learn about building your site. Um, building your blog, SEO, adding your domain, launching, troubleshooting, like everything is in here and they're always updating it too. The next one is ask a question. So if you ever have like a specific question, you can do it in here um, and just click send us a message and they'll usually get back to you in a few hours, sometimes even quicker. Last but not least are the preview and publish buttons. So the preview button is how you can check out your site um, while you're building it. So as you're starting to learn show it, if you're completely new to the platform, this is going to be so helpful because you can um, like kind of scroll through mobile, make sure everything's looking okay. You can test out your buttons and then same on desktop. And if you want to see it bigger, you can also click right here and it'll bring it up full screen so you can check it out that way too, which is nice. And then of course we have the publish button. So when you're finally ready to launch, this is where you'll publish your site. You just click publish. And you hit it again and it'll load and it'll let you know that your site is all set up and live. So that's pretty cool.